Hey everybody, it's Dr. Dustin Hendricks. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So, right now I'm out of shape, and I feel like it would be really good to document what somebody like me does to get back into shape. I keep <laughs> leaving the uh, wrong comment threads down there. I'll take those out. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be documenting every workout that I do, even if it's just a short clip uh, of the workout and then you know I'll use Strava or I'll post a link of the video that I did uh, you know things like that uh, inside the comment and then basically what I'll do is I will post those videos on YouTube so that way if you miss it live you can just go back and pull up on YouTube and see what I was doing to do that so basically I need to lose at least 10 pounds right now um, Everybody's different. Everybody's got a healthy weight that they like. I like to stay around 175 to 185 when I'm not in like triathlon type shape. Um, so that's kind of the goal of this one is you know we're gonna get down 10 pounds. The other things I'm gonna be doing a lot more of is trail running. I love trail running. Some trail walking, <laughs> um, just for the de-stressing. Uh, there's a lot going on in my life. I can definitely relate to everybody when they're like, you know, how do you work out when you have a full-time job and a part-time job? And, you know, because right now I'm at least logging 65 hours a week of work, <laughs> uh, closer to 80. So I think that's good for you guys to see that. So this is going to be a realistic, like, okay, what does a fitness expert do to get back into shape when he's let himself slip? So yeah, it's going to be a combination of weights, running. Uh, yoga and then I'm also gonna let you guys just see inside the kitchen like what am I eating and stuff like that I did a really big like cooking video but it was just so long and it, I just kind of didn't intend for it to be that way but that's just kind of what happened so yeah so you're gonna be kind of following along with the stuff sorry <laughs> I gotta do it so right now I'm doing a run today and what you guys can do is you can kind of just like go in there and see the kind of weekly what I'm doing. And I can put it on the calendar of what I did. So remember everybody's going to start at a different spot. Even though for myself currently I'm not in the shape I would like to be. I'm still only six months or six weeks removed from doing 40 mile weeks on my runs. Um, so something to take in consideration when you do this stuff. But yes, that's what I'm going to be doing. I want to actually be able to relax while I'm out here and not defeat the purpose. So when I get done with the run, we'll post the video. Or sorry, we'll post the uh, Strava time. So that's what you guys are going to do on your own. And we'll keep you posted on our workouts. Alright guys. Alright guys, so show you a little bit of what we're working with here. Waxahachie well, has a little bit of a hidden treasure with the trails. I've been doing these for a while so I know how to not get lost. So you gotta watch for stumps though on these. Trail running is really really good because you're working different from on the road. The road is just constant pounding in one spot, one muscle group. You're constantly changing. That's why it's almost like a strength workout for runners. It's real pretty here. I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of this. Hardcore, hardcore.
the guys one thing that gets the best in running is people are doing a lot of breathing through their chest and upper body you're just pushing way too hard and I get in the beginning you're just doing whatever you can to keep moving and that's okay been there but you can remember to breathe through your abdomen I always tell my patients I pretend like the abdomen is a balloon so to fill it up with air it's a good belly breathing that'll also let you know if you're pushing too hard so that's another interesting thing with kind of learning what is your pace and what's been too hard or too easy for you and where you're at heart rate right now is like the gold standard that's entry level accessible what I mean like that is you can get a, a decent heart rate monitor without it being too expensive. Now the other option is RPE, rate of perceived exertion. So what I tell people in your easy runs, that you should be able to talk and not be out of breath. You know, your steady states. You're starting to get where you can say broken sentences, but if you're at a place where you can barely even talk, so you're going way, way too hard, you're in your Say state tempo type stuff. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit. We're at the fun part, so I'll show you on this. You don't get a crazy elevation out here, but you at least get a little bit. I still like to pick it up on the fun parts. <clears throat> Hopefully, this won't turn into a fail reel where you guys get to see me bust by. <laughs> So as you can tell, I still have my runner form in spurts, but I'm just out of shape. So it's only brief little phases, which is why it's important to actually stay in an easier pace. But sometimes you just want to have a little fun. Okay, so you saw me going really fast. This is also important for you to see. Because remember, we're trying to get back into shape. We're not trying to go beast mode on an ultra right now or a marathon. We're not even thinking about that. We're not saying this can't be the foundation to those things later on. But right now, we want to take our time with this. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Maybe even a 50-mile race or 100. <laughs> That's for you guys, not for me right now. Um, so I'm walking a little bit. You saw me have a little fun, we dropped in there pretty fast. Now we're just kind of taking our time. Remember, we're trying to get back into shape. If this is too intense for you right now, that's okay. It's a little intense for me as well. So we have the video on chronic pain right now where it goes week by week and shows you that build back into, you know, just foundational, getting back to being able to do 20 minutes of cardio. Um, it takes time, especially if you've never done it. I've been off and on, but I've been running since I was 13. So it's a little easier for me to know where those lines are. The other area too is if you've been through an injury, talk to us because that's gonna be strategic. What we tell our patients is, how far can you run without your pain being at a five or six? That's the first thing you have to figure out. 
and ideally you want to get a little bit below that one so you'll feel like a little bit of stuff coming on maybe one or two and then you'll be done for that day and it won't be forever that's the frustrating part and you know even taking a week or two to rebuild when you're not devastated in an injury and you're also like you know we're talking about like a grade three or a grade two you know, even like your tweaks and your ones you can get through pretty fast um, if you have the right people around you but if you're not devastated you can get back in a week or two we see it all the time with our clients you know they're a little frustrated the first week they're like oh man we're only we're building up to three miles like five is what i do you know five times a week like just trust us by the time we get back to two weeks all the pain is going and they're back to doing five and so that's a hard mindset and i've been there too when i'm not the doctor and the coach i can't see that i can see it on y'all but because you're so wrapped up on i need to be able to do what i want to do that you forget to realize that sometimes to take four or five steps forward you have to take one or two back um it's hard i was talking to somebody about that the other day like their interest is hurting them they don't want to change their form even if they lose 30 to 40 pounds tell them well, you know what if you lose that 30 or 40 pounds now but from that little bit of uh, form change and you're getting healthy in you know three to four months now you're lifting you know 80 pounds it's starting to storm so we're going to flip over to the other side and i'm going to keep running here I think this is going to be about a 30 minute trail run jog, which is great. Just try to keep it light and easy. If you have to walk this entire thing, that's fine. You know, be wherever you're at right now. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm being mean, scaring people. I was trying to cut through. I thought I was being courteous, but that backfired. It's beautiful today. Okay guys, I'm gonna walk into the rest of this probably, maybe run walk a little bit, and then we'll post however long it took us. Alright guys.